I recently took a look at the ZWA2 from Nabucasa, which is a streamlined Z-Wave Plus controller designed to unlock Z-Wave's full potential when running on Home Assistant. And today we are going to be taking a look at its much cuter cousin, the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2. ZBT2 connects to your Home Assistant system via a USB cable, allowing it to build either a Zigbee or Thread network via the built-in Zigbee or Thread integrations. Take note that this adapter can only run Zigbee or Thread at any given time. It is not designed to run both protocols at the same time. The Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 features an optimized large antenna to achieve the best possible connection to Zigbee or Thread devices and is listed as being four times faster than Home Assistant Connect ZBT1. Take note that Namukasa was nice enough to send me out the ZBT2 to take a look at and I've been testing it out for about a month now. This multi-protocol adapter is supposed to be super simple to get added into Home Assistant for both new Zigbee or Thread installations, as well as migrating for mostly all other adapters, and we will be taking a look at that claim later in this video. The ZBT2 is listed as being $49 USD and €45. Euro. The ZBT2, with a precisely tuned antenna and the cutting edge MG24 chip, is geared towards delivering exceptional responsiveness and rock solid stability. Built on the second generation Connect platform, it is designed to be open. We've already seen what that can mean with a ZWA2 portable Z-Wave experiment. It also has an ESP32 S3 chip. The ZBT2 comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable, so you can plug it in right into your home assistant. Overall, the design of it is pretty sleek. The tiny size of it should make it a bit easier to have out somewhere and blend in, although you won't be able to easily use it for a paper towel roll holder. I'm sure it's some creativity, you can probably find some good hiding places for it though, if you need to. The ZBT2 uses an MG24 chipset which provides greater amount of flash and RAM over the ZBT1. In Europe, the antenna provides up to 10 dBm while the rest of the world gets 8, with a peak gain of 4.16 dBi. It also has an enhanced baud rate which allows for more snappy performance between the adapter and your Home Assistant hub. Getting the ZBT2 added into Home Assistant is pretty easy for the most part. If you are just getting started with your Zigbee or Thread deployment, and plan on using the official add-on, you can simply plug in the adapter and Home Assistant should automatically discover it. With it plugged in, navigate to Settings and then Devices and Services. Under Discovered, you should see the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 available to be added. Clicking on Add will start the setup process for it. You'll first need to select if you want to set up the adapter as either a Zigbee or Thread adapter, as it will not support both at the same time. For right now, I'm going to pick Zigbee. After and for a basic installation, you can just select Recommended Installation. At this point, the installation and setup process will take several minutes depending on your Home Assistant hardware. You'll then be prompted to set up the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 with the Zigbee Home Automation Integration. Once setup is complete, you'll be prompted to change the device name and assign an area if you'd like. Click on Skip and Finish if you don't want to assign an area, or click on Finish if you did assign an area. Now that the ZBT2 has been added to Home Assistant, we can go take a look at it under the Zigbee Home Automation Integration page. With the ZBT2 added into Home Assistant, you're able to add Zigbee devices to your hub just like with any other Zigbee adapter. This includes from the adapter page itself, from the Zigbee Home Automation Integration page, or just through the normal Add Zigbee Device option on the integration page under Add Integration. The thread setup with the ZBT2 is basically the same as with Zigbee. Unfortunately, I don't actually own any thread devices, so I couldn't test thread out besides getting it set up. If you'd like to see more thread devices covered in the future, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already set up Zigbee environment and are migrating to the ZBT2, then the process will be just a bit different depending on your current setup with a few caveats. If your Zigbee environment is currently running through the Decons add-on, then you're going to have a bit more work to do to migrate, but it is still possible. Just keep in mind that customizations such as device names will be lost, so automations will need to be updated. I will not be going over the migration process with the Decons add-on, but I will have a link for the steps in the description below. Also take note that if you have a Con B2, but running through ZHA, then you can just follow along with the migration steps we are about to go over. Before getting started with the migration process, I recommend first taking a backup of your Zigbee network just in case. To do this, navigate to the Zigbee Home Automation Integration page under Devices and Services, which can be found under Settings. From here, click on the cog icon. On the page that opens, click on Download Backup at the bottom of Network Settings. This will generate a file that gets downloaded to your computer. Once all set, you can start the migration process. To migrate a ZHA network over to the ZBT2, first plug it into your Home Assistant Hub and give it a few moments to be detected. 
Next, go to Settings, and then click on Devices and Services. You should see the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 under Discovered, where you can click on Add. On the window that opens up, click on Migrate ZigBee to a new adapter. As long as you're running ZHA, then you can click on Recommended Installation. Otherwise, you'll need to click on Custom here, which is outside the scope of this video. Once migration is complete, you'll get a success page. Devices will now need to rejoin the ZigBee network, which can take roughly an hour to finish. For some devices, you can speed this process up by power cycling them. Once all set, you can go ahead and remove your old ZigBee adapter, or maybe convert it to thread if it's one that supports it. For testing out the ZBT2, I had it in my basement. In this location, it provided reliability in my first and second floors. I was also able to get reliable coverage out to the shed in my backyard, which is roughly 150 feet from it. I took a sensor out for a walk into my neighborhood and was able to get consistent reliable coverage about 300 feet away from my home. For optimal physical installation, the ZBT2 should be installed either upright or from a ceiling. In addition, make sure that the ZBT2 is not installed near bodies of water, such as fish tanks, other wireless transmitters, like wireless routers, thick walls, or wire meshing. Overall, I really like the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2. It's a great open Zigbee or Thread controller platform that has been very easy to add into Home Assistant for both the new and already existing Zigbee network. I like that the antenna is essentially on its own base that can be placed a bit away from Home Assistant, allowing for more ideal coverage. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy automating.